Welcome back to today's video guys. So after my last upload, I got a ton of comments that basically all said the same thing. Why did you stop uploading videos on YouTube? So that's exactly what I'm going to get into in this video. I want to explain to you guys why I decided to quit YouTube. Now if you're watching this video, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I want to explain why over the past several months, I mean really since about summer I guess I would say is when I really started to slow down and basically quit YouTube, why did I drop my upload uh, rate? I went from uploading three times a week to uploading like maybe once a month if, if we're lucky. <laughs> so I want to explain the process of why I did that, what I've been up to, and I'm also going to tell you what to expect moving forward. So if you've been around for a while, you guys know that I spent a substantial amount of time creating YouTube videos. I built a really large audience here. Thank you guys also for, you know, being subscribed. If you're not subscribed yet, you're going to want to do that. Drop below and tick that bell notification icon because I do a lot of tutorials here. I talk about entrepreneurship, all of that stuff. If you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Smash a like on the video because like I said, there is going to be more going on here and that's what I'm going to explain. So basically the main reason was, was I was focused on building up a new software as a service business. Now, for those of you who don't know what a software as a service is, think of it like um, something that you could log into, like an app that you might use online where you log into and you pay every month to use it or once a year or whatever, right? That's what a software as a service is. I was building a new software as a service business and that basically sucked up almost all of my time. Now that's not the only reason. There's a lot of other things that kind of were going through my head, but that is the biggest reason. And I'm a big believer in focus. If you want to see great results in your business or whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, it could be fitness, it could be health, it could be any of that stuff, wealth, you need to really focus, you know, that's the big problem with YouTube in general, not just like making YouTube videos like I do, but consuming YouTube videos is, you know, if I make a video one day for you on how to make money on YouTube, and then three days later I put up a video on how to make money on Google Maps, your focus is spread out. And that's not my intention. My intention is not to distract you with all of these different things. My intention is for you to find something that resonates with you because one of you might resonate really well with something I talk about, about making money on YouTube. And I want you to then focus all of your attention on that one thing to get it as big as you can get it. Someone else might find that that doesn't resonate well with them and they resonate better with maybe something I talk about about Google Maps. I want that person to focus in on that. So that is the big problem here. And for me, if I'm focused on creating YouTube videos and I'm focused on providing consulting services and I'm focused on trying to grow this new software company, well, all of my results are going to be subpar. They're not going to be good, right? So for a while, why I quit YouTube for a while and limited my upload schedule to basically like once per month or as really as much as I could really do was because I was building this company up. Now, the other thing that comes into play, and I'm going to reveal that company to you as well, because I know a lot of you guys are probably curious. Um, I'm, I'll show you what it is. I don't really have like a sales pitch for it or anything, because we've already launched it. We've got a ton of customers in it already, so it's already really successful, uh, which is great, and I'll share some of the details with that, but I'm going to share it with you because I think it'll be a good learning lesson for you. But some other factors that come into play before we get into that, so stay tuned for that. Smash a like on it, if you're ready for that, um, is... I'm a creator at the end of the day, and a lot of you guys know my background. I was a musician. I toured around. I put out CDs, albums. Um, I recorded music. I'm a songwriter, okay? I'm a creator, and making these videos for me on YouTube, it was a lot like writing songs, and songs are a creative process where you're putting together the hook for the song, the chorus, and you're writing the, the lyrics and the melodies and the guitar parts, right? And the videos are a lot like that for me, and I think that's why I enjoy it so much. But when I was starting to really amp up my schedule, and then I started to throw other things in, like building this software company, 
it started to feel like I was losing that creative process, right? I was starting to put together videos in a way where it started to feel like a job almost and I was starting to basically try and outsource different pieces of it and it just didn't feel right. Like it just didn't feel right to me that I wasn't involved more in being able to like say I want this part of the video to be exactly this way. I want it to transition exactly this way. Like if I would have an editor come in and it could be even just like a millisecond off of what I wanted it to be in the transition, it just didn't feel right to me and that's because I'm a creator. Now I don't know, that could just be me, you know, being picky or whatever, but the bottom line is, is it started to feel like a job to me. I didn't want it to feel like that. I wanted this to be a creative process. I do this for enjoyment. Uh, YouTube is not the main way I make my living, obviously. I stopped doing it for a long time. Um, you guys know that. Um, should be pretty obvious. Like some people are out there and they're dependent on YouTube, right? And, and YouTube, I mean, it does, you can make good money on YouTube. Don't get me wrong, like you can make really good money on YouTube. But some people out there in this make money online niche, they are absolutely 100% dependent on making videos. If they stop making videos, they stop making money. So keep that in mind because I think it's important to learn from people who are building businesses who are out there practicing what they preach. But anyways, my SaaS is done, software as a service, the launch went really good. And I, I think I'll bring you in to show you uh, what I've been working on. So let me uh, go over to my computer screen here, see if we can get you a good look at it. So it's a call tracking software, it's called dialhawk.com, as you can see. And I'll, I mean, I will be putting together some promotions for it, but I don't have anything together right now. We did the initial launch of it. It went really, really good, but I'll share more. But basically what this software allows you to do is it allows you to track how your websites are performing for your clients. So I can see exactly how many calls came in for my client's website. I can see how many were duplicates, how many calls came in, how many were answered, how many missed calls, how many voicemails. I can even see how much money I made off of that particular client, like $800. Um, so it's really cool. And the cool part is, is that this is a tracking phone number, which means I slap this phone number onto my website and I basically, from that point, can forward it off to the person who is getting those leads from my website, and it automatically bills them. You can see here we have an invoice tab. So we can actually generate invoices for our clients automatically, where it sends them out each month, and it'll basically send it out to them automatically. I don't have to do anything. So I built this software for my own business because there was really nothing out there like it. There were pieces and components of other software out there that did some pieces and components of this, but nothing that did this all built in one, and that's what I wanted to accomplish. Now, my battery is dying, so I do want to wrap this video up before it dies. I want to show you what went into building this software and why it took so much of my time. So I'm going to pull open a Google spreadsheet that I have created here. Um, that basically lays out all the features of the software and this is what I sent to my programming team to actually build this thing out for me and you're gonna understand exactly why it was so much work. So this is the Google Doc. Now I want you to check this out. This thing was last edited on October 31st of 2018. It took an entire year to build this software out and get it to the point where I could launch it. We're now in November of 2019 and we have just finished up our first launch. We have over a hundred some users inside of the software already, which is absolutely amazing. But you can see this is all of the specifications that I sent to the developer. And I said, look, this is what we need. We need all of these features into the software. Each one of these lines is a separate feature that we had worked on and built in. And it took us an entire year from start to finish to actually do it. That is 103 line items there. Now again, I'm showing you this because not only is it a good learning experience, but it can help give you some understanding of why I've been gone for so long. Um, while I was working on this software, I was doing YouTube videos for a really long time, but it got to a point where I had to shift my focus. So here's what to expect. I am going to be back. I am going to start doing more uploads for you guys. I know I've seen the comments. You guys miss my uploads. You want to see more of me, but you guys got to let me know what is it that you miss? What do you want to see more of? What specific topics? What would you go into YouTube right now and search for? And if you could find a video on that answer that you would want to see, comment it below. Like if you could go and 
and you could search for anything and find it out, what would it be? Comment it below. All right, guys, I appreciate you so much. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Smash a like on this video and drop me that comment and let me know. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already following me there, at Hello Paul James. I've been posting some fire content on there as well. So I know you're going to enjoy that special content, different from what I post here. And it's just a good way to keep up with me too on other things. Anyways, guys, I will see you in another video. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for sticking around with me. And thank you for understanding. We'll see you in another video. I am Paul James. Peace out.